I've never seen anything like it. The fire equivalent of an ice age. Like peering into Dante's Inferno. And it's only going to accelerate. This is only the beginning. We're surrounded by fire. My dad put his hand on my shoulder and he said, don't leave. Whatever you do, do not let that building burn down. Evacuate. Everything was on fire. The looks on their faces, they were sure they were going to die. Run for your life. I've never seen that look in anybody's face. The world is waking up to the hellish realization that all over this planet, wildfires are burning us alive. Most of the people I know lost everything. And that's why we came to be embedded with firefighters on what turned out to be the deadliest day for fires in California. Yet again, two years in a row, we're caught with our pants down. You're left making decisions you don't want to make. It was difficult, very difficult. <laughs> Private firefighters protect people with money. Bring your own brigade. How you doing? We're still here. We didn't burn them. Blame the firefighters. Blame the environmental community. Point fingers in other directions other than yourself. Fire everywhere. No fire engines. Chief, put something into action now. Even if we believe it's climate change, which I don't, we got to do something about it. Why do we approve building in places that are dangerous? Logging operations are making fires burn faster and hotter. I am not hearing this story anywhere. This is the story. I don't see this as a natural disaster. I see this as human error. Fire can be our friend or it can be our enemy. Maybe we need to go back a hundred years and say they did it right and we've mismanaged it. Treat the land with respect. If we're at war at fire, we're going to spend a lot of money, we're going to take a lot of casualties, and we're going to lose. And I still don't think the public understands that.